Hey everyone, Michael Fox here, and uh, I'm coming at you with a let's look at spirits. Uh, quickly go over the how to play. The objective of the game is to get the spirits to the swirl, and to do that you have four different actions that, um, that you can choose to use. Uh, the first is you grow to walk up, and that's where you sacrifice a spirit and turn them into like a, a kind of plant bridge. Second, uh, again, you're sacrificing every time you do an action, and that's to dig through the through the earth. You can blow, or you can also block wind. Um, and you'll see these all are are necessary actions. Um, in addition to just getting these spirits to the swirls, uh, you can also collect these plants throughout the levels. It kind of adds an extra element of difficulty and hey if you want to go ahead and do that do it I mean I'm gonna try to, to collect as many as I can and you can see here this is just a list of all the levels there are 42 and they show you if you've unlocked them or not and naturally you unlock them by completing previous levels and it also tells you if you have completed the level, to what extent in your world ranking, which is, is kind of cool. And I'm realizing I don't want to be on this level, uh, because I was playing earlier. That means, you know, they just continued me from, from the most uh, recently unlocked level that I have. So let's, let's start from the beginning and have a nice look. Huh. Sounds the music sounds like one of those Canadian heritage videos they used to play a lot. It's, it's very serene. It's quite nice. So, anyways, we're gonna start out uh, with this guy. The only option we have in terms of actions actually is to set him up to to blow. So that's what we're gonna do. And you'll see for the through these first few levels, they pretty much hold our hand uh, and limit what we can do and the levels themselves, how they're constructed, are pretty simple. I mean, it's, it's obvious that um, we have to set up a guy at the start and then the guy up at the middle, and voila! So we completed that level perfectly, saving three spirits. So, And uh, while I have it on my mind, uh, this game is a Mac only game currently uh, you can get it on if you have a MacBook Air or a MacBook Pro or whatever you know basically anything Mac that isn't an iPhone or an iPod touch or a, an iPad currently so I'm playing this game on my iMac but I've also tested it out on my my MacBook Air and it's beautiful on both and that's one of the reasons why I was so drawn to this game is just how aesthetically pleasing it is. Uh, simple colors and, and and nice contrast. It's very smooth and yes, I don't know. Just look with your eyes. You can, I mean, you know what I'm talking about. It's just very nice to look at. And um, another reason why I'm I'm trying to highlight this game is it reminds me of a a childhood favorite. You know, I used to play way back in the day on the on the. PC was um, Lemmings, and the premise of this game and, and Lemmings, they're pretty much identical. You have, here they're called spirits, but in Lemmings obviously they're called Lemmings, and you have to sacrifice a few um, doing uh, certain actions. You have to determine what actions they're going to do to get them to their final destination. In Lemmings it's just a big door, here it's a, a swirly galaxy, I don't know exactly where the heck they go probably some other place in heaven or limbo I don't I don't, I don't I don't know to be honest but we want to get them there and um, obviously we want to sacrifice as few spirits as possible that's that's the whole point uh, that's the whole challenge of it I mean you can beat the levels pretty easily but you want to beat them with uh, making as few sacrifices as you can. So, you know, if you're if you're a fan of puzzle games, uh, uh, I'm a pretty big fan. I've, you've seen a 
a lot of the games I've looked at previously are puzzle related, then uh, you'll, you'll like this game because it's challenging and you can kind of take a couple stabs at it, go away, eat some food, and come back and, and after you've had a revelation, which is what I've done here. I had to restart this level because you want to set a few guys going to the right side before you dig down. Um, I don't think it's absolutely necessary, but it works. And now we've got this guy. Um, I'm just gonna get rid of him. Um, but you can still see that I thought I knew what I was doing. I only saved four spirits when it was possible to save six. And I think I know why, but I'm not gonna go back and ruin the surprise. I want That's, you know, something I don't wanna show you guys how to do everything perfectly because then it's easy for you and you're gonna beat me on the on the leaderboards and I I can't have that so I'm only showing you kind of the the overall scope of the game but I don't want to get get uh, too specific because then it just ruins the the point of the game it's a very simple game um, and really there's only a couple solutions that to, to beating these levels, so so why, why ruin too much of the surprise? But here you can see, uh, obviously I flubbed up. I didn't get that that plant on the bottom left, which I was trying to do. So I'm gonna try and build a flower bridge just so that they're jumping off at a later point, and maybe they'll fall on it. Um, no, it looks like the current is gonna take it. But that's okay. So there's another one for you to figure out uh, when you hit up this level. You can you can figure out how you're gonna get all those. So I only saved five spirits. It's possible to save seven. Jeez, I'm doing doing pretty bad. Here we, we gotta we can dig or build a bridge. I don't think it necessarily matters there. They're starting to give us a little more choice. Um, here though is quite obvious the. That land bridge is blocking the current, so we have to sacrifice somebody there. And whoop! There you go, buddy. Kobe! In the net. Uh, another thing you can see there is on the left it says Tweet Solution. And that's the developer's way of doing, well, two things that I can point out. <clears throat> the first is, being that's a puzzle game, um, they're not idiots. They know you're gonna ask your friends playing the game or <clears throat> or go on a forum or anything And you're gonna be like, how do I beat this level because sometimes People just give up you want to know what the solution is you're you're so curious as to know You know, and then you, you can learn from your mistakes and stuff like that. That's cool You know, I respect that but <clears throat> I think the other um, and even more primary reason for for doing that whole tweet solution is just to get the word out there for the game and you can you know you'll have friends playing this game or even I might tweet a solution or something you'll be like oh Michael he's he's playing this game called spirits oh that looks interesting and then it kind of invites you to check it out so and I respect that too because as I mentioned excuse me as I mentioned earlier this is on the Mac App Store and it's it's growing much like the App Store and for those of you that aren't familiar with Apple's ecosystem the App Store is just the store where you can buy all of your iPhone and iPad apps and stuff like that the Mac App Store is for the, their desktop and laptop software and stuff like that so uh, currently Spirits is only available on the Mac App Store that's where I got it um, golly, I can't recall how much I paid for it. That's poor. I'll I'll throw a I'll throw that in the description. Um, so check that out. But it's not expensive, and it's totally worth it. Again, if you're into puzzle games, if you're not a puzzle person, then I would have a hard time suggesting it. I mean, some people just like more action and and don't like to work their brain, but. It's kind of one of those things, you know, I used to do a lot of Sudoku and stuff when I took the train to work. Uh, kind of wakes you up in the morning, gets you thinking, you know, logically and stuff. Or at least uh, trying to think logically. That's kind of this this game. The whole point of it is 
optimization. It's probably a good exercise if you're in human resources or something like that or anything where you have to be efficient and because you're trying to reduce the amount of spirits we have to sacrifice and save as many as we can. Um, so that requires some problem solving and um, you know that's a good that's a good trait to have in life is be a, a problem solver. You'll go far in life, I guarantee you, if you know how to solve problems. And as well, doing it while keeping cool, right? Nobody likes a, a frantic leader or anything like that. You just, it's no, it's no fun. You gotta be calm and cool and in control and confident. And then people are gonna listen to you. They'll be like, holy shit, this guy knows what he's talking about. Clearly, right now, it doesn't look like I know diddly squat about nothing. All these guys are just jumping around on a trampoline. Um, so I'm going to restart. And this is a level where it starts to... The difficulty starts to ramp up a bit. Um, and you can see I'm trying to... I'm sending these three dudes to the right. Because I don't want to get too many guys off path. I just want these guys going on the right to get that flower. And that's it. Um, and to think about it, I probably should have just sent two. Um, and that's that's another tricky aspect of this game is that um, it gets pretty frantic in that you have to be very good at managing your time, being very decisive and being like, okay, this guy, I'm going to sacrifice him here and at this point. And that's very important to getting the flow of this game right. If you sacrifice a person in the wrong, or a spear in the wrong spot, then it's kind of a wasted effort, right? And you can see the guys in the middle, they're all just kind of circling around and nobody's actually getting to the swirl. Um, so that's evidence that I could have obviously planned it out a little better or a little more quickly or whatever. I screwed up, so now I gotta sacrifice more people to, to fix the problem. I'm just gonna do the time warp, and oh, it looks like some guys are now falling down. Something has gone wrong. Somebody call FEMA. Um, okay, they're walking back this way. That's okay. I'm gonna delete you from existence. He's he's dead. He was just getting in the way. Oh God, this is just no. Oh, what's going on? Dun, dun. I'm digging the music in this game too. It's a little quirky, but that's nice. It's nice to have some some quirkiness in the in the music. It's just background. It's there. It's fun, and it doesn't distract you too much from the game. Um, but you can see, there we go. So let's uh, 32 spirits saved, two plants collected, 29 spirits saved, and three plants collected would be the ideal. So or perfect. So to get all the plants, I actually had to sacrifice more than than I actually saved. So, and that's that's the point of you know for the greater good, right? I should have sacrificed a few more, and it would have been benef been beneficial to us as a whole. So just just remember that. But here I'm going to try and get all of the plants. So those guys there, these guys got to dig down. You dig down. Oh, that guy, what? Okay, somehow they're hitting the side of that thorn. Thorn kills them. You know, thorns kill everything in any game ever. I've never seen a thorn do any good. So we're going to redo this. You dig through there, yes. And you can dig through there. Go down a bit. Yeah, that's good. Okay. So we've got that plant. These guys are going there. Now this guy, I'm going to make him dig a little sooner. Okay, looks like we're going to avoid <clears throat> those thorns. And... Yes, okay. That's good. So he got the flower. And as you can see too, in this game, I didn't mention it, but anytime one of the spirits comes to a gap or a ledge or whatever, 
they instinctively they just jump. Uh, they they go wherever the wind is taking them. So you know they have a lot of faith in wind, something you can't even see. Well, I guess in this game you can see it, but that's just for our purposes. Uh, but they seem pretty eager to get to this swirly destination. And what I did there, I just awoke all the spirits because we have our path set out. We're good to go. Just like that Taco Bell wrap thingy. It's good to go. And they're kind of hitting that thing, but they're correcting themselves. And that's one of the things about this game too, is it's a lot of trial and error. You have to restart a few times, so keep that in mind. Don't feel bad if you don't do perfectly the first time. Clearly there, I screwed up. I failed to save one spirit, so I'm, I feel pretty bad about that. I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. But anyways, I, I'm done showing you levels. I don't want to ruin any more surprises. I want you guys to figure this stuff out. But you can see here, you know, I got a lot of world rank number ones for getting perfect, which is cool. So anyways, check this out on the Mac App Store, and uh, I hope you have fun. It's a great game, so uh, peace out.